Warning, the following program contains spoilers. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Battle of the Rookies Tournament. I am your host Game and Soy and today we will be finishing out the remaining fights of the first round. Four robots have already moved on into the second round and four robots have already been sent home. We will have a total of four fights in today's episode and they are some amazing matchups. But first, let's take a look at the rules of the arena. Each fight will be a total of 3 minutes long unless it is a championship fight or a main event which will be a total of 5 minutes long. Each minute, the judges will award the winning robot a total of 10 points while the opponent gets 9 points or fewer depending on the dominance of that minute. The judges will base their scorecards on damage, control, and aggression which means a robot must follow all three of these criteria in order to win. In order for a robot to win a fight, it must immobilize, destroy, or eliminate the opposing robot before the fight timer is up. If a fight were to end after all the time is up, then it will go to a tiebreaker where the judges will determine a winner based off of their scorecards. Today's fight card will feature Werewolf, the top seed of this tournament, going up against 4. Then we have a spinner matchup with Killa B versus Shellshock. Yin and Yang will come together in hopes to take out the fire-breathing red dragon. And of course, we have the fan favorite, Nuts and Bolts taking on Scoop, there it is. All of the robots are ready for tonight's fights. So let's jump into our first fight of the night. Being one of the only two wedge robots in the tournament, the heavy underdog Scoop There It Is will try to bully its way to the next round, while Nuts and Bolts has a steady strategy of moving forward and hitting its opponent. Here we go! We got an excellent matchup to start off the night. We have Nuts and Bolts, the number two ranked robot, going up against Scoop. There it is the number 15 ranked robot. Out of the red square, we have the number 15 ranked robot. Scoop, there it is, the only wedge robot remaining in the tournament. This robot needs to really, really try its best to get that push against a spinning robot. It will be going up against the number two ranked robot, Nuts and Bolts, an amazing design that literally just spin around in circles until it will destroy the opposing robot. This matchup will be fun. The number two ranked nuts and bolts against the number 15 scoop. There it is. And here we go. Let's finish out this first round of the tournament. Both robots are trying to get that push in, but it doesn't seem like they can get it just yet. Scoop, there it is has one plan and this one plan is to just push nuts and bolts up against the wall make it do damage to itself and the arena but in the same time nuts and bolts is just trying to cause damage every time it hits it wants damage to be dealt to that big wedge that's in front of scoop there it is a big hit right there to the side of scoop there it is I'm curious to see how this matchup is going to go both of these robots do have really good wedges. It is going to be hard to figure out how to get underneath, especially for nuts and bolts. It has wedges on all four sides of the robot. So getting an angle against nuts and bolts is going to be very hard to do in this tournament. Some big hits are happening. Not big hits, a couple smaller hits are happening to Scoop, there it is. Nuts and Bolts trying to get it into the side. But Scoop, there it is, is doing a good job of staying centered, staying square to its opponent. And that's what it needs to do in order to win. It's not playing aggressively right now, but it's playing smart. And that's what we really need to see in this tournament when it comes to aggression and control. A big hit right there by Nuts and Bolts sends Scoop, there it is, back. It's doing good when it's hitting the sides, I'm noticing. But other than that, it's just trying to it's just trying to go head to head with Scoop there it is and Nuts and Bolts cannot do that. We have just over a minute left in this fight 
and no real winner has been shown yet. It seems like nuts and bolts is just hitting, just keeping up the shots, you know? It's not about how much power you dish, it's about just touching the opposing robot, making sure that it stays away from you. And that's the strategy it seems nuts and bolts has taking in today's fight. They both back up and go right back at it. Scoop, there it is, did get a hit. It sent it a little up in the air. And a couple of the wedgelets are actually falling off of Scoop, there it is now. That's not good. I, I feel like both of these robots are going to need... Whoa, whoa, what is happening right now? Nuts and Bolts is stuck on one of the wedgelets that Scoop, there it is, lost. It has to get off in order, in order to get out. It's getting counted out. Both robots getting counted out, and they both get off. Ten seconds remain, and it looks like this is going to go to a judge's decision. Very close scare at the end for Nuts and Bolts. But this fight will go to a judge's decision. Interesting fight. I don't know exactly if Scoop There It Is did enough in this fight. It seemed like it just kept getting hit. While Nuts and Bolts also didn't do much, it seemed like it at least dished out a little bit of damage. As you can see, it didn't do anything when it went face to face, but when it hit the side of Scoop There It Is, that's when the true damage started to show. It got a couple of those hits in, which could be a significant amount for the judges to decide between, but I'm not exactly sure. So a couple of big hits right here. That's where the wedge lit fell off. I think both wedges actually fell off as well. I'm not exactly sure on that, but there was a part right here where Nuts and Bolts get stuck on the wedgelet that had fallen off of Scoop There It Is. It did get off, and that's when the judge's decision needed to be, and let's see what happened. With the fight being over and the judge's scorecard still being tallied up, let's take a look at the statistics of the fight. Based off of what I can just look at right now, it seems to me that this decision is, is pretty clear. It looks like in minute one, it's nuts and bolts just did enough damage. In minute two, Scoop There It Is did get two pins, but it also did get hit 53 times. In minute three, nothing happened besides Nuts and Bolts. Nuts and Bolts did an amazing job in this fight, and I think it deserved a win. I am also getting word that the judge's decision is in, so let's see who won. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges have scored the contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Nuts and Bolts. And just like that, the number two seed moves on with a decision victory over Scoop, there it is. Nuts and Bolts will now face Airborne in the second round. Our first matchup is complete, and that is going to be a really interesting fight on paper. Taking on two separate opponents, Red Dragon has its work cut out for it. While Yin and Yang find comfort in numbers, their plan is simple. Knock out the solo robot. And for the second fight of the night, we have an excellent matchup going on. It is Yin and Yang versus the Red Dragon. This is a 3 versus 14 seed. This fight is going to be very fun to watch. Out of the red square, we have Red Dragon, the fire-breathing, grappling and throwing robot. This robot is very fun to watch. No matter what happens, this robot will most likely have the fight of the night. They will be going up against Yin and Yang, a cluster bot combo. This means two robots in one. That means these two robots equal the same as one robot would. And here we go. I am very excited for this fight on two different aspects. I really love to watch Red Dragon throw around things, and I love watching cluster robots do their work. We saw Yin get thrown earlier by Red Dragon, but they are tearing them apart now. Red Dragon is going to need some work. Make sure it has to get in some flips, but who knows what happens. It seems like the cluster bots, Yin and Yang, are in control right now, ripping off multiple pieces of Red Dragon. 
and it's just trying to work. It's just trying to do its job right now, but who knows what happens. Yin gets caught and thrown in the air, and can it can it self right? It's on its side right now. Yang is going to be in control for now. It seems like Yin is getting counted out, so it is essentially a one-on-one -on -one at this point. Unless somehow Yin, nope, it, they, it died. It's, it's gone. But we now have a one-on-one -on -one going on, which is going to be very fun to see turn out. This, these two robots now need to really do some work, and it seems like Yang is doing some significant damage to Red Dragon. It looks like the flipper isn't working properly either. Doing some damage to the wheels, it is now on fire! Smoke, fire, and sparks are all coming out of Red Dragon. That is not good, I can tell you that. Decapitation! Oh my goodness, Red Dragon just got decapitated in front of us all right now. This isn't this isn't a rated R movie. This is PG, guys. We just saw a decapitation live. Oh my goodness. Yang is doing some dirty work right now. Gets pinned up against his side. And now Red Dragon's going to take it for a little ride to the wall, perhaps, to maybe do some damage. And that this is what Red Dragon needs. We have just under a minute left, and look at the flamethrower. Look at that. Lighting up Yang. And a countdown has begun, gets out of it, and the fire is back. Oh my goodness. The internals of Yang are getting roasted, and a countdown has begun. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? And that is it! Red Dragon wins! The comeback victory! The Cinderella story! Red Dragon! Oh my gosh! Oh, that was a fight, guys! It started out with Red Dragon just getting completely dominated, it seemed, from the first half of the fight. And just getting every little bit torn off. Right here you can see Yin just get flipped. And that was enough to immobilize Yin, one half of the Yin Yang family. Blur your eyes, children. We just saw a decapitation. And there, look at all that fire. That is not the fire. And this is where everything changed. Red Dragon shooting fire at Yang and pinning it up against the wall, roasting its insides to be able to knock it out. And with that, Red Dragon has pulled the upset and moved on into the next round of the tournament. It will fight Steel Drifting. I'm, I'm, I can't get over that right now. That may be potential fight of the year so far. That was an amazing fight. And I am just, I'm just happy I was here to witness that. Wow, I, I can't get over it. Now Red Dragon will be fighting Steel Drifting, which could be a very interesting match on paper. So we got to keep an eye out for that one. If you are enjoying this video so far, please consider rating this video. I have put in a ton of time making sure that you guys are entertained and it would very much be worth it if I hear how you guys have enjoyed this video. Also, if you would like to see more content similar to this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It costs nothing and only takes a few seconds and it'll mean the world to me. Since most turtles cannot fight on their back, Shellshock needs to plan to end this fight quickly by knockout. But Kill a Bee is a robot that can quickly turn out the lights of any opposing robot in its way. And here we go, we got the 5 versus 12 seed, Killer Bee versus Shellshock. We got two spinners coming at each other, so this fight will most definitely end in a knockout. I am excited, in the red square, we got the number 12 seed Shellshock, a full body overhead spinner that is a very deadly robot, but cannot be flipped. It is not invertible, that is probably its one weakness. It is going up against Killa B, who is invertible, with an undercutting bar spinner. This robot dishes out a crap ton of damage. And I am very excited to see how this robot will fight. Kill a bee versus Shellshock. Here we go. They both meet at the center, and it looks like Shellshock's going for a little bit of ride, courteous to Kill a bee. Smacked against the wall, 
And these robots, it doesn't look like Shellshock has the, the, the height of its weapon. It's not, I don't think it could get hit. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Shellshock's weapon just completely broke. It's just, it just broke. And now a countdown has begun. And I think this robot is knocked out, actually. This fight is over. One and zero. Just like that, the fight is over. It only takes one shot from Killa B to knock out its opponent. Let's take a look at these replays. As you can see right here, Killa B, weapon not even spinning, slams it against the wall, which caused a little bit of damage. I don't think that was the shot that broke it. I'm trying to see right there. I think Shellshock's weapon got hit against the ground, and that's what caused it to break. But that's what did it right there. Wow. And with a quick knockout, Killa B moves on into the next round, leaving Shellshock in the dust, sending him home. Now with that win, Killa B will now face Wraith. I think that matchup is going to be one of the funnest matches to watch. It just has so much potential of back and forth chaos, but who knows, I'm just an announcer. Robomania is now on Discord. If you would like to see your very own custom robot entered into a video similar to this, then go ahead and click the link down in the description below. Our Discord is a very friendly community who all love the hobby of watching robots smash into each other and destroy each other for fun. Even if you don't play this game and want to stay up to date to news and announcements revolving around Robomania, go ahead and check it out and have a chat with the amazing community. By being placed the lowest seed in the tournament, 4 will have to find its ace in the hole in order to win, while Werewolf cannot look past the ranking and stay true to what it is. And for the final fight of the first round, we have the 1 versus 16 seed. Werewolf going up against 4. This is going to be a very weird matchup. I, I have no idea what's going to happen. In the red square, we got 4 of punting and swinging robot with ginormous wheels. It's very comical in a sense, but it... Don't get it wrong, it can definitely cause a lot of damage and control other robots. It is going up against the tournament favorite, Werewolf, a flipper spinner robot. It can flip a robot and also cause a lot of damage with its powerful drum spinner that can tear apart other robots. And the last fight of the first round, Werewolf against the four. Four goes flipping, turned upside down. It can still work. Where is this camera shooting right now? That was a weird shot. Werewolf doesn't know if it wants to go in yet, decides to hit it once more. And four is back up right and it's available to swing again, misses and it's trying to do its best. Werewolf is having a hard time with these ginormous wheels to get a flip off. Flips it over on its side, but I don't know what's going to happen from here. I think 4 can still, just because of how weird it is, it can still operate, but I guess we're going to have to truly see what happens. Werewolf is just trying its best to just work with what it has to do. It doesn't seem like it can really get under, flips itself over, but no worries. Werewolf can self-write at any time of a fight as long as it has that lifter. Werewolf flips 4 back over and 4 just not moving. Just completely still gets pushed and is getting bullied around by Werewolf. Not sure exactly what's happening with 4. A little part came off, I believe that is from 4. And it looks like there is no movement from 4, so I think this fight is going to be counted down soon. Here it goes. And with the countdown, it looks like this fight is completely over, and we will not get a final upset in this final fight of the first round. Alright, well, Werewolf is, uh, is doing pretty good. I mean, it didn't dominate, but it still won. And that's all you can really ask for for a number one seed. There's so much expectations. If you're rated higher, it's just harder to impress. But Werewolf did its job, flipped over 4 plenty of times, to the point where, where, where 4 just stopped moving. And with the final fight, Werewolf 
will move on into the second round completing the first round of the battle of the rookies we have werewolf going up against pack a punch that could be a really fun fight i'm actually looking forward to all four fights that are coming up in round two eight bots remain as we move on to round two of the tournament the battle of the rookies will continue on next week to start the next round as the robots are one step closer to gold as always it was a pleasure to be here for these fights as there are only eight robots that remain one of them will become the champion of robomania i am game and soy and i will see you all next week for the next round of the battle of the rookies